Hi, Aaron with ReportingGuru.com here again, and I'm going to continue creating um, a dashboard within BERT iHub server. So I've already shown you how to create the data model, um, a, a basic data model based upon a SQL Server database, and upload it into the web portal here. And so now I'm going to basically create a dashboard real quick based upon that data source. So I just navigated to my administrator directory. Directory um, again, you could this could be whatever directory you want, and then um, then you can set the permissions for whatever you want. So I'm gonna create a new dashboard, and the first and this is all web based here. This is all within um, my browser's actual actually uh, Google Chrome here, and I'm gonna click on the database icon, and here you'll notice the sales data design file that we uploaded which is our uh, data object and then I'm just going to select that and then you can see here are the two cubes we created and then the two different data sets so we can basically build reports or dashboards on any of those um, various data sources there so first I'm just going to create a chart and uh, I've already selected my uh, um, data design file and then so uh, let's look at category actually I want to I want to select a cube here rather than just a um, it defaulted to the a straight data set but I'm going to do a cube itself so let's do the sales data cube and start with territory name and then uh, we'll do sales um, year to date, and then click OK. Awesome. So uh, this has our our sales by ter territory. Now, if I I double click, you can see it actually double it it drills into the salespeople themselves, and then I can double click, and then it goes back out to the territory. Canada, there's two different salespeople. You can see the amount and the percentage. Very interactive, and it's all web-based. Um, again, if you're if you're a SQL reporting services person or a, a Crystal person, um, you'll notice that this is way more interactive uh, within the browser than than those two products are. Um, and let's add a second. Uh, report here and let's add a column chart and let's see do the same thing oh, static cube and in this one we can do is like some comparison uh, of sales last year and sales this year Right. And uh, let's change our layout. Um, so you want to move this over here, and then move this one up, and then let's put that layout back to two column. Yeah, great. So now you can see we have our our charts um, right next to each other. Um, Let's name this tab sales. And then that way we have a tab here of sales. And again, you can see on this one, uh, it has a com it's a comparison of, of last year to this year. And you can drill in and you can see the actual sales people.